Ah, the iconic Marlin Fountain, or are those sailfish? Ah, it doesn't matter. It's beautiful, and it means we're at the Broward County Convention Center here in Fort Lauderdale, Florida for TPIE 2020. Right inside the uh, the trade show hall there. I'm Chris Beatty's editor of Grower Talks and Green Profit Magazines, and we're going to take a walk through the hall looking for cool new products here at TPIE as judged by Danny Summers uh, and his uh, team of judges. So come on with me and let's see what we can find in plants and products. First stop on the cool product awards trail here at TPIE is a, well it's a previous winner as a matter of fact. It's the company Bird Planter and they have introduced a fun rooster to go along with their award-winning parrot planter. Uh, you may recall these things. They were the hit of the show two years ago when they were introduced. Last year they added uh, some new colors and this year they've added a whole new uh, a whole new bird to the uh, to the product line and also the news is they are now manufacturing in Tampa. 100% American made these products are and I was also told by my buddy uh, Donald who's right over here that uh, stay tuned they have some other bird shapes on the drawing board. So that's Bird Planter, the new the new rooster, a TPIE Cool Product Award winner. Well, right around the corner from the bird planter folks is Capri Farms, a previous winner of the Cool Product Award. Uh, and this year they've got one for this beautiful Dracaena called Harvest Moon. And it is, well, I don't have to explain why it won the prize. First, a big, beautiful plant, but that color, the beautiful uh, stripes and variegation is absolutely striking. It's really, really bright chartreuse. So that is uh, Dracaena Harvest Moon. It's also a patented plant. I see the plant patent right there. Here is another cool product from TPIE. Island Tropical Foliage on the 600 Isle where you're looking at a painting that's been done by a, a Boca Raton artist for the last two days of a plant that turned out to be a double award winner. The plant's right here. It's, I'm gonna, I have to cheat on reading it because I don't know the species. It's Shauria calatrica. A uh, golden plume is the common name, and the cultivar is Yellow Dancer. It won a uh, favorite new flowering plant and a cool product award, so that's pretty nice. It's a landscape plant, makes about a three foot or so hedge out in the tropical zone 10, I'm sure, probably not zone 9, but has beautiful uh, yellow sort of bottle brush sorts of plumes. So that's a Yellow Dancer by Island Tropical Foliage. While we're going around looking for cool products, I also like to show you some of the uh, the other award winners at TPIE, such as who built the nicest booths and Penang Nursery, who's won quite a few of these, got, oh, it's just the best of show uh, for their booth, which they call Life with Plants. And it's actually three different lifestyle vignettes. The one you're looking at right now is, uh, well, this is obviously kind of a luxurious, rich lifestyle with the dark paint and the, and the metallic planters. And, uh, and all the different sort of topiaries and foliage that they, th that they have here. On the back side of the, uh, the Penang booth, they've gone more sort of mid-century modern with the uh, cool mint green and uh, pale pink, along with some kind of hip, trendy style containers and plants. And lastly, because in this day and age, it's all about social media, they even created a selfie spot where you can do a little Instagram action amongst their green wall here. Here's another cool product from TPIE. Eve of Eve's Garden tells me she's been exhibiting here at TPIE for like 30 years. One of the pioneers here at TPIE and she won yet another prize for these cool caricature uh, vehicle planters. The Cool Product Award folks, uh, judges, loved just the, the whimsical nature of them. There's I think about eight different uh, designs uh, either with a bonsai in it or a little succulent garden. Uh, you can get an optional a carry bag to make it easier for customers to pick them up and I think they come packed 10 in a case if you're wondering how to order them. So those are the caricature vehicles from Eve's Garden. 
You know, I could sit in the Excelsa Gardens uh, booth all day. It's beautiful in here. Lori says we got to keep moving, though, so no resting for long. We're here to look at a cool product winner, and this is, uh, well, it needs a name. It's variegated alocasia, uh, but they don't have a cool, trendy name on it yet, but it is a prize winner. And why? Well, first off, for this really interesting variegation, which, you know, runs across the board, every leaf is a surprise, Colin Friedrich told me. Uh, it's a compact uh, alocasia as well. Grows to about maybe three feet or so, so it's really good for a container. And best of all, availability for spring 2020 is pretty good. Uh, so get your order in now. Here's another cool product from TPIE. We've come to the exhibitor showcase here at TPIE to look at plants because in, in these particular cases, I can't find the plants out on the show. They're too new, too rare. There's like one of them here. So in here, we're gonna look at uh, first, some award winners from Foremost Co. Their tie-dye Croton series. And note that tie is spelled T-H-E. AI. Uh, some really interesting shaped and colored crotons. The one you're looking at right now, this one's called To The Max, and it actually won the uh, Most Unusual Plant Award. Uh, yes, Most Unusual Plant Specimen, To The Max. Then the whole series, the whole collection, I should say, won a Cool Product Award. Uh, so, so it's sort of a double award winner here. Now we're going to slide down uh, past a few of the, uh, the other uh, uh, introductions to an award winner from Costa Farms. This Aglaonema called SRA won a, uh, a cool product award, and it's pretty obvious why. That foliage is as vivid red and green as you can get with real nice pink stems underneath and an absolutely beautiful habit. And the next Costa Award winner, well, this one I don't even need to tell you why it won an award. This is a Monstera Deliciosa called Thai Constellation. Now, this, these, these are available. Other folks have had them. You can see them around. Sometimes you see them on eBay for, oh, I don't know, $250, $300. But uh, they now have them coming available uh, commercially. So that's Thai Constellation, uh, which won the uh, uh, favorite Foliage Plant Award here at TPIE. I'm here at uh, the booth of my friend Paul DeRoos, DeRoos Plants, looking at a, uh, a cool pr uh, product award winner, and that is ZZ Nova Star. ZZ is Zamioculcus Zamiofolia. And uh, what's really cool about this is it's not only an interesting foliage plant, it's a dark leafed, almost black leaf foliage plant, and that makes it extra trendy. Um, it's a nice compact plant. The only problem with it, no availability yet. You'll be able to get liners of the ZZ Nova Star starting in 2021. Here's another cool product from TPIE. Right, Riley? Live Trends Design Group earned a cool product award for one of their new collections called Trendsetter. And within that, there's a couple of different ones that are very cool, uh, Rebels and Underground Comics. Now we're looking at Rebels over here on the right. This features a very urban, kind of an earthy graffiti look. Uh, you see these little uh, sort of a park bench in concrete. They're very heavy, very nicely made. Uh, there's some little graffitied uh, glass terrariums here with the background. And check out these pots, which are actually hand painted using a dip technique, uh, which means every single one of these is going to be different. Now, on the other side, they've picked up on a very cool, trendy comic book kind of a theme here uh, with that's just a fun pot. Door, ouch, boom, ha ha, zing. Uh, different sizes and shapes of these, and even some really uh, unusual kinds of little, uh, little uh, kind of leather style planters there. So that's the uh, the Trendsetter Comics series here from Live Trends. Here we're at a company called Urban Jungle, and you might say, well, you know, I've never heard of Urban Jungle. Well, that's because Urban Jungle used to be plant marketing, which was bought by Mr. Georgiev of the Live Trends Group, and he's rebranded the whole company as Urban Jungle. They produce 
fairly standard, good old-fashioned foliage plants, although they're adding to that line, but they're also really dressing them up nicely, and uh, they won a cool product award for taking nice foliage plants, six inch, four inch, those kind of sizes, and putting them in, golly, you might call it old-fashioned terracotta pots. Except when you see the shapes and designs of these, this is hardly old-fashioned. These are very cool and trendy shapes, so it's a way to kind of blend old and new, old foliage with old terracotta, and new shapes, really nice new packaging, and create, well, an award-winning product. So here we are at Urban Jungle at TPIE 2020. Here's another cool product from TPIE together. Okay. Yeah. Here's, Here's another cool product from TPIE. We're here at Morning Dew Tropicals to check out Rainbow Peacock. No, actually that's Brett. Hello. Rainbow, Rainbow Peacock is, uh, is, uh, is uh, uh, their uh, cool product award winner, and it's right next to Brett here. It's actually called Rainbow Peacock Fern, but it's not a fern at all. Brett, explain this to us. No, correct. So uh, this is a Selaginella, which is actually not a fern, but a fern ally, uh, belonging to the group of plants known as club mosses. Uh, this is a species known as Selaginella uncinata. Um, which is commonly known as rainbow peacock due to the blue iridescence that it gives off. The blue that you see here is created by specialized cells that this plant has evolved to have called iridoplasts that are meant to uh, efficiently absorb as much light as possible in low light situations. And the awesome thing is, this blue color and the iridescence it gives off is best seen when you shine a light on it. Ooh. Oh, so we can, uh, there you go. You're picking that up on camera, Lori, so you can really see it's got some, it's green and then it's blue. It's almost like it's uh, color shifting, like some of those cool car paint jobs. So I gotta ask, how's availability on this? It's a, it's a cool product, a cool, a cool product winner. People are gonna want it. For sure. Um, <laughs> we have eight inch baskets, uh, typically I'd say year round, um, off and on. It is something that is produced year round um, and this is what an eight inch basket is gonna look like. Um, if it's uh, smaller heads, we would tell you, but typically we like to get them long beautiful, like this. Beautiful, big, um, And if you need something plant. smaller, uh, sometimes we will have them in a two inch assorted Selaginella mix with all the colors. Ah, there you go. Now the only other question to ask is, why didn't this guy win a cool product? award for that outfit huh that's what you got to wonder this booth actually it's not a booth it's a truck has been the talk of TPIE uh, it's the pedals plant truck by Aeroid greenhouses and they won two cool product awards for these two variegated plants. Uh, now the one on the left, I bet you haven't seen this. This is a Sansevieria called Whale Fin. Pretty self-explanatory. That is a big, wide, foliaged uh, Sansevieria with beautiful variegated stripes. And right next to it uh, is a variegated ZZ plant. And uh, the judges just simply loved the unique nature. Uh, when we're, people are getting dark and black was easy. Suddenly we've got a beautiful, vibrant, variegated one. But more interestingly, I think, is what Aeroid is doing with Aeroids, um, because they are the hot thing at TPIE this year, and they're really taking advantage of it. So, how have to watch it. Cool product? Cool product. Cool, cool like product? Cool. Uh -huh. okay. Here's another cool product on TPIE. Rumor has it that Gail Cash is actually wallpapering a bathroom at her home with the with the Cool Product Award ribbons that she has won. This is number eight. Well done, Gail. Uh, eight in a row, as a matter of fact. What she went for this time? Well, two different products. She has this bottle terrarium that is a, a two-layer terrarium. I don't think I've seen that before. Uh, it comes apart, so you can uh, take care of uh, the plants on the top or the bottom if you need to. But hey, terrariums, they take care of themselves, right? And you could see here how it's packaged for, uh, for travel. The other one is uh, the uh, lantern terrarium, which pretty self-explanatory. A couple of different shapes of them, battery powered, comes with a light inside so that you can enjoy your terrarium pretty much 24-7. So that's uh, uh, ribbon number eight for Gail Cash at Flory Designs. Sometimes the uh, cool product judges surprise me a little bit because the, the things they pick, I sort of think, well, I don't think it's totally new, and I guess you could call it cool, but I'm not really sure. In, in this example, Fiddly Fig, well, 
I thought about it and I realized, you know what? Fiddly Fig is still really cool and trendy. And here at Railroad Nursery out of Homestead, they've got a really fine example of it. That's why the judges picked it. Beautiful habit, compact, glossy green foliage, not a spot on them. In fact, they think the judges were checking to see if it was real or not when they were over here. Uh, I checked with Railroad. Uh, they don't have a tremendous availability, but they're working on building it up if you want to order from them. But uh, it just kind of goes to show that it doesn't always have to be be truly new or truly cool to be cool and new here at TPIE. There is another cool, wonderful item at the TPIE show. Did I do good? Our last stop of our uh, 2020 walk through TPIE is at a really cool business with a really cool story. We're at Kazumi Gardens, who specializes in kokodamas. Well, you, I think you know what kokodamas are by now. They're these round balls of earth. In fact, kokodama means ball of soil in Japanese. Uh, and they are created by a woman named, I want to get it right, um, Mercedes Manosalva. Now here's the thing, Mercedes went to Japan once to visit her daughter, discovered these, and started making them as a hobby. Her son, uh, Edgardo, who's an accountant, said, Mom, these things are cool. I think you could sell them. And, well, kind of the rest is history. This is their first time at TPIE. They won two awards, second place in the 10 by 10 exhibit and a cool product award. And I think you can see why. These are some of the nicest, maybe the nicest kokodamas I've seen, dressed up with colored string instead of just the usual fish line. Really makes them decorative. Lots of different shapes and sizes. They've got some of the trendy plants in them, like uh, Pilea peperomioides and uh, Swiss cheese philodendron. Uh, their logo, this is their business card. This has got to be the cutest business card ever. And it actually was inspired by this gift from daughter to mom. Isn't that cute? So uh, this is like an overnight success story. It's still a backyard business, but uh, Edgardo plans on helping mom scale up to meet the demand. Those are uh, award-winning kokodamas from Kazumi Gardens of Pembroke Pines, Florida. That was a lot of trade show walking. I'm exhausted. Thankfully, they left this handy sofa for me out here in the lobby. Uh, but really, it's not for me. It's part of the displays of the cool, trendy things they had here at TPIE. And I tell you, if you've never been to TPIE, well, you missed a fantastic one here in Fort Lauderdale. Next year, TPIE is actually moving over to Tampa, to the Tampa Convention Center uh, for the first time ever, I think. And it's, it's January 20th through 22. 2021. So mark your calendars for that because you don't want to miss uh, the next stage of the houseplant trend. For uh, everybody at TPIE and the Cool Products Awards, I'm Chris Beatty saying, see you next time. <laughs> here's another cool product from TPIE. And here, here's another cool product from TPIE. Another new and what, product, what are we gonna what are we gonna show? And then you're gonna keep and you're gonna show nothing because it's all other people's stuff. And here's another cool product from the TPIE.